hope that they get caught, that people are aware of who they are and what they do. Yeah, they look like a happy family with a baby shopping at a local store, but the store owners say they're actually a family of thieves. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. The suspects were crafty and calculated. Stealing hundreds of dollars worth of liquor has happened in Vancouver Tuesday night at Liquor and Wine off Northeast 4th Plain. Let's go to our Amy Frazier, who's live in Vancouver now with the very latest on this crime that was caught on camera. Amy? Well, the owners here believe they were targeted by professional thieves, so they're sharing their surveillance video, so maybe it won't happen to someone else. Tuesday around 7 p.m., three people came into the store. They appear to be a couple with a baby and a grandma. They shop around for about six minutes until all the other customers leave. Then the woman hands the baby over to the grandma. They don't support the baby's neck, which makes the victims wonder if the baby is even real, but it's hard to tell for sure. The man then calls the store clerk to the back of the store, where he has some questions about wine on a lower shelf. As the clerk explains the difference between Cab and Merlot, the woman walks behind the front counter and grabs two bottles of Hennessy XO, which sell for about $250 each before tax. The woman puts the two boxes in what appears to be a large pocket in her long skirt. The grandma then signals to the man that their mission is complete. The family that owns the business says it's all pretty frustrating. It's, it's like a personal attack. Like my dad works so hard for our family and the fact that they can just swoop in and steal something so expensive, it's like, it's, you know, it's our, sorry, it's our, um, it's our store. It's our, like, you know, our, our baby. <laughs> the suspects eventually pretend to buy some wine. But when the clerk asked for ID, they claimed it was in their car and left. The victims have posted their video on social media to warn other business owners. They also hope someone will recognize the suspects and turn them in. And if you can help out with this case, you're asked to contact Vancouver Police. Reporting live in Vancouver, Amy Fraser, Coin 6 News.